Hi, I'm Tom Stone with Thermal Care. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a common alarm that happens with packaged air-cooled chillers, the high refrigerant pressure alarm. This is a critical alarm and will shut the chiller down because it's actually a safety concern. This type of alarm can generally happen when the refrigeration circuit is unable to discharge the heat that it has picked up out of the process. By doing that, we circulate air across these condenser coils and it's discharged out with these fans. There are four common causes for this alarm. Number one, your chiller is too small. It can't keep up with the heat load, so the heat just builds up in the system and that refrigerant pressure rises and trips that alarm. Remedy, get a bigger chiller. Two, you're creating what we call a microclimate. You have bad ventilation or air circulation around the chiller. So that hot discharge air comes out and is recirculated back in. So you're continually adding heat to that. That will raise the ambient condition and you can no longer reject the heat through the condenser coil as well. It builds up, refrigerant pressure goes up, you trip the alarm. Your remedy there is move the chiller or get it in a better in, um, air circulation setup. Number three, the filter or the coil itself is dirty. So there could be dust coatings, things like that, that would inhibit the airflow or the heat transfer. Your remedy there, clean it. And then finally, one of the ones that is not as obvious is when you're operating the chiller, the fans are pulling air across this condenser coil. But if you have your panel open, the air is gonna take the path of least resistance. So it's no longer gonna go through the coil, it's going to bypass it and go straight in the unit and you're not gonna get your cooling. Your remedy there, shut the panel. When you're done with this and you have the alarm fixed and you need to reset it, not only will you reset it on the controller, but you'll also need to go in and manually reset the safety switch in the unit. The reason for this is because a high pressure alarm is a critical alarm and it's a safety concern. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you learned something.